So uh, it's normally said that uh, with everything going wireless and uh, you know the entire generation trying to be wireless, cabling industry might just see uh, the, the road ending or a dead end. So how would you uh, you know say wh what are your views on that particular issue? Um, yeah, I fully understand that uh, everybody now is talking wireless. You spe step on any place you expect to connect over your mobile, um, but at the end of the day. From day one, since the, the wireless starts coming on the roadmap of technology, uh, we always felt like it's going to be only a complementary to structured cabling, and I'm still strongly believer that this is going to continue like this. There are good things in the wireless, the easy connectivity. However, there are drawbacks about wireless, which is mostly like everybody talks about. It's the security issue uh, and also the limited speed, because when you're talking about the transfer of big files, the big data, I think wireless is absolutely not the right way to communicate over. So you still have to have a one gig to the desk. Uh, we've been cabling buildings up to 10 gig to the desk already, which the story is still yet to come. So we do not see a wireless is absolutely a threat. It's, it's really, again, a complementary level in specific business sectors or areas of customer usage. Talking about the Middle East region, what are the trends that you see in the cabling industry? This is a, a really very wide question, but uh, let me put it that way. I've, I've been always communicating with my colleagues um, in handling Europe, handling Asia Pac, um, and handling even Brazil, Africa. Uh, Middle East is a region that always one of the first regions that picks up the new technologies. I mean, um, I, I, I'm also handling um, East and South Africa. Um, and we've been selling, for example, the, uh, the, the 10 gig solution in this region, CAT 6A, more than now, seven to eight years. Uh, I just came back from South Africa and they're confirming they now started migrating their technology from CAT 6 to 6A. So Middle East is always a leader in technology. Uh, a region that, for example, have the biggest implementation of our CAT 7A solution, which is the 25 gig, which is not even in Europe. So we are as being always a leader in technology uh, and I can tell the only supplier of 7A for the last 10 years, uh, none of our competitors are able to follow that. We have done a lot of good business due to the fact that people here are very hungry for business, they are well planned, they know the cabling is not a product that is going to be like a switch or a server, you can replace it in a day or two. It's a very long-term investment, so it's like a 10 to 15 years uh, lifetime. Um, uh, talking about the 2016 year is about to end. So 2017, how does the year uh, look like for Nexens, and what are the plans Nexen has in store for you know? Um, it's from the plan of Nexens. Uh, we had to look at two things. Uh, first of all, our commitment to market, and Nexens has been active in this region of structured cabling. Uh, under my responsibility since 1998. So it's, we are almost going to close the 20 years uh, within 2017. Um, we have the right team to support this region. We have the regional office looks after most of our end customers. I would rather say it's not many more about uh, the channel management. We, we understand the value of the channel, but today uh, the key issue for us is how to support our end customers with latest technologies and technical support. So from the business perspective, we are committed and we will continue to commit and a good proof that you can see us all around. Uh, we have won in the last two years about seven best cabling vendors awards from a lot of different medias around Middle East. Um, and that gives a message to the people how Nexus is positioned in terms of technology and solution offering. Uh, from the perspective of our commitment to our customers, we are, let's say first again, channels. Uh, the channels wants to have a, a vendor or a, a, a partner that they can partner with in technology, which means they enable them to go and present the latest technology, uh, let's say the first to introduce this technology in the market, would give them an edge to add value to their proposals. We've been always giving that privilege to most of our channels. And at the end of the day, we only talk to end customers, we always sell them the roadmap of technology, so they're not planning of today, they're planning for the next five, seven years or ten years, which is really affecting a lot their capex in terms of the infrastructure investments. Um, so business-wise, very committed, we're continuing our operations here in Dubai. 
um, in, and, and the next and on the technology perspective again we are the leaders uh, one of the things you are talking about uh, is that we are the first company to have a real category 8 solution we've seen competition announcing it uh, but nobody has really come with a real solution for that thank you very much and all the very best for Jitex. Yeah. pleasure meeting you